And uh, it also it taught one that absolute integrity, you don't flannel your patient, you don't pretend you're somebody else. Sometimes a doctor will say, oh, here's a friend of mine who's been visiting us and I thought I'd bring him along, you know. And I'd intervene and say, no, he's got it wrong. I'm a, I'm a psychiatrist and your doctor and your family are very worried about your mental state. And they thought that somebody else should come along to have a look at you. They're horrified. They think the man's going to call up the walls or strike me dead. But usually he'll look at me and they'll say, all right, fire ahead. Fair enough. And, and there's no, no problem. But if I had not done that, he would know that I was lying. He knew I was part of a plot and I'd never get his confidence. And then he's more likely to get nasty. So I, I have absolute integrity. Never, never uh, try and cheat anybody. And even if, if it's embarrassing and they ask you a very embarrassing question, you think I'm crazy. You say, well, I don't use that word, but if you think you've got mental illness, I say, yes, you have. It was uh, both neurology and psychiatry. It was a joint unit. It, uh, it, the, the origins of it are rather interesting because it was founded in 1913 by a group of Birmingham businessmen, of which uh, George Cadbury was one, but was also a couple of two or three Jewish businessmen. There was a man called Goodman and one called Mendelssohn. And they uh, reported saying that in this day of the internal combustion engine and the telephone, uh, work people have been subjected to stresses, which they use the word, uh, should, which should be treated in a place other than the asylum. And we feel that there should be another place for them. And they proposed building, uh, collecting the money and building a little hospital where they could be treated.